the other big factor the governor hasn't mentioned is that he gave us a couple of Amtrak hats last night for the speaker <laughs> and myself. And he said these are going to give you better luck, and it seems to have worked. So thank you for the hats. Well, it seems I, like it's pretty clear where Democrats gave. Governor, where do you think you, you, you gave on this budget? I'm still concerned about the uh, education fund. Uh, as I indicated, we're balanced for fiscal 11, which is our immediate task, but I'm concerned about its sustainability for the future and uh, proposed a number of ideas, as I'm sure you know, that, uh, that would have bent that curve. Uh, I proposed uh, more significant uh, reductions in the capital gains and the state taxes, but we've reached a, 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 a compromised position on those. So uh, I think we all gave in the end and found that common ground. You would not anticipate any need for a special session? I certainly hope not, and I expect we're, this gentleman I'm really, really hoping not to. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we're not anticipating one. When, yeah. when did you agree on the estate tax? We, we actually came to an agreement on the estate tax, the estate tax several days ago. What we've been uh, struggling with has been the how to uh, ensure that we uh, grow jobs with the capital gains tax exclusion. Uh, without giving up some of the gains that we made last year of asking those who can afford to pay a little more to pay a little more in tough times. And I think that's the compromise that we found. You, you pretty much settled on that, on the administration's position on the capital gains uh, tax from last night. Where, where did you gain? Well, it, uh, what I would say, uh, Lewis, is that we, um, the kernel that sort of started the idea around what we landed on uh, was in the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, that pa and it was through uh, the leadership of uh, Representative An Ansel, who was trying to address concerns around the capital gains and its impact on small Vermont businesses, um, particularly with regard to one year spiking of income. And when we were having difficulties with uh, figuring out where we could reach common ground, on the capital gains, we use that as sort of a bridge between, uh, you know, where the administration was and where we were, and it was focused on making sure that if there are investments in Vermont um, and investments in Vermont businesses, that uh, we uh, will help them out and uh, encourage them to make that those investments. And I think that we were able to. The difference last night was largely around language. Um, and I think we were able to resolve the language today. You had a restriction in the size, the number of owners uh, in the business last night, anything like that or anything? Well, I think it's important to point out that that's the concept that the House works so hard on. And uh, when we examined it more closely, uh, we decided that the broader exemption made more sense to grow jobs and get this economy moving. And uh, what we, the conclusion that we came to, which I think is a reasonable one, is that large businesses can have few owners and small businesses can have lots of owners. And therefore, the line that we were trying to define uh, started to seem uh, less important. A few weeks ago, you were not so inclined to go for either of these, the, ca the capital gains or the estate tax. What changed? I think you, know, I think you have to remember that, uh, as I said to you a few days ago, judge us not by how loud the music is, but by how well we do. Dance. And there's a lot of loud music from both sides uh, when we're going into these negotiations. The point, let's celebrate the good news. We promise to work together to solve real problems for Vermonters, to create jobs, to balance the budget. We've done that. That's a great headline. Cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> so is that Shumlin wouldn't say? <laughs> but he can sing. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Are you comfortable with what they promised here, or do you feel like you're comfortable with your uh, there's too much taxing going on. Well, the legislative process involves give and take. It involves ideas that are uh, different uh, from different perspectives that need to be reconciled. And I think uh, given the various points of view that we've all articulated over the last few months, this is a, a very sound compromise. Um, it accomplishes the goals that we all had at the beginning of the session, which is to put more of our honors to work, to encourage investment and job creation, uh, to uh, encourage the creation of small businesses, and that is a major accomplishment. Um, we'll continue to have some different points of view, I'm sure, on some uh, aspects of the budget, but that's the way the process works. So is there agreement now on the other sticking points, like on current use? 
Are you okay with that on the health care bill? Are you okay with that now? Current use um, bill is still in play, uh, and uh, uh, I'm not sure how it might ultimately be resolved, but it's still being debated by the General Assembly. Uh, the health care bill, has that passed? Yes. Uh, um, uh, as I have explained to you uh, a number of times, uh, has a lot of good features and some others that aren't so good, um, but um, the expansion of the Blueprint for Health, which is a major initiative of my tenure beginning seven years ago, uh, is something I feel very strongly about. And lacking line item veto, as 40 or 41 of my colleagues have, and which I hope the next governor pretty will. We're, we're, we're going to institute that for next year. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you're the same <laughs> well, I don't know ultimately how it's going to turn out because there's still a lot of discussion within the legislature about it. What about the health care bill? Well, I was just sort of answering that. I, I <laughs> sure what, what? I didn't hear. Yeah, I didn't well, really I, get it. I, I think <laughs> the point is that both current use and health care bill are separate bills and they're not part of this package. Yeah. How do you balance the end funding? There's uh, some carry forward, and um, I'm, sure, I'm sure the other elements. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we could walk you through that. Yeah. We could we could walk you through a spreadsheet if you really want. I plan to do that. Around one in the morning, we'll give you that primer. Right. So, what does this mean for the German town? Well, we're ready to go back to work immediately, um, and we're going to adjourn as soon as possible. I don't so, let them go. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, no. I late tonight. Well, our intention is to adjourn tonight. And uh, the speaker and I, have, you know, committed to doing that. I know legislators are working hard to get it done. No one wants to be here tomorrow, and Vermont taxpayers don't want us here tomorrow. Does Order that mean some more coffee from the cafeteria? So yeah. I need Does that mean before there. midnight? Or not? Well, you know, we're pushing as fast as we know how, and we'll we'll work as long as it takes. I'll let you get back to work. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you.